Hi, Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Today we're going to go give you an overview of the Tab 320S Boondock and all the upgrades from A to Z that we have done since we've owned it. This is a 2021. So here on the outside, the first thing you'll see is we added graphics. Um, these are actually very inexpensive on Amazon. I have all the links below, but uh, you just watch some um, YouTubes and you'll know to put those on with just soapy water and smooth them out. Um, the second thing that we did is we um, added these custom diamond boxes, which you've seen throughout the tab forums. Um, the less expensive ones, or as less as that, that you can get, are about $200 a piece plus shipping, do not come with locks. So we did have to add the locks, and I have a video on that. Here on the outside of the tab, of course, you have the Laguna table that you can put on the outside, um, and that comes with the tab as a standard. Um, you also have the screen door. Just note that the bottom of that door is not sealed, so a, a dog or a cat could get out if they wanted to. Um, there are options that you can adjust with that if you want. Um, the next thing that we did was uh, the kitchen. So we wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit and we added these adhesive tiles um, with Gorilla Glue um, just because of moisture and different things and we also trimmed them out and caulked them just like you would with regular tile just to make sure that everything was sealed really well and the weather wouldn't cause it to bubble up later. Um, so far so good. Um, the next thing that we did is Ikea uh, bought these handles, very inexpensive for cabinets, and used them as uh, racks. Um, we even added one to the door cabinet down here. Another good find we did with storage under the cabinets was to do the pullouts. It was really hard to find the exact size and a good quality one, but I did find it. And then we added that, um, and they lock in place, so no problems when traveling. Um, we also added the sponge adhesive holder to the side there for our, our dishwashing liquid in the sponge. On the bottom, I had to remove the uh, cabinet locking mechanism and I put a magnetic one in so it wouldn't interfere with the pullout. Um, but I, because of the curved wall, you could only put it up so low inside the cabinet and I added a shelf. Um, but it actually worked out really well and we have great storage there now and easy access. So we're always adding different things to try to occupy every little spot. Here we've added some netting um, on the door. Uh, we also added one at the entry. Here we have a, a door hanger for just our hats or clothes. Um, we also, everybody probably has one of these. We actually just move it around to the other side when we take a shower, but it's nice to have it hidden um, when we're just moving around the tab itself. Um, in the bathroom of a tab, the new tab, um, yeah, you got the round window that you just turn with your hand to open and close. Um, the other thing that we did was we added some hooks to the top. Now that board on the back, that wall on the back is plywood, so yes, you can drill into that. Um, it's very sturdy. Um, we also added the oxygenator shower, uh, shower faucet because you can turn it on and off. And what a way to preserve water is you can turn it on and off and not, not lose your hot and cold. Also, we added this um, receptacle for tissues. We do not put tissue down the uh, cassette toilet. It just allows so much more volume and able not to have to uh, get rid of it so quickly. So we used that, and that was a great find. We used that in our motorhome, too. Um, so we left the hook right up there for the original shower for now, um, but then we added the other one to this wall, and so we just bring it over, put it there when we take a shower, and then put it back when we're done. Okay, in regards to these little cabinets that are up above the sink, nice. Um, we did add these little uh, uh, plastic dots that, because uh, every time you closed them, they'd slam shut and they were loud. So we added those to soften the sound. Um, the mirrors we also added. We found those um, on Amazon. I'll show those later. Right now, let's see, we're looking at the gauges. So you have your battery, your fresh, and your gray. Pretty simple. Um, you have your water pump, um, porch lights, accent lights, and your kitchen lights. So that's all that's really on the panel there. Um, again, here's another mirror that we added. Um, we only put three in there, but they come in handy when one's in the bathroom and then you're out. the other person's outside maybe want to do makeup or their hair. We are the cutting board family. So we put cutting boards everywhere. So we added this cutting board um, to the top of our Lugine table instead of the one that came with it. 
And it's a little bit smaller, but it's just a little bit more versatile and we can use it in between our beds. We also added another one where we had the microwave. We don't use microwave, so we took that out and then use that for a cupboard. Um, and then we use a cutting board as a um, door. Here we have a really great invention, which is these brackets are awesome on Amazon. And we, because that's a, a plywood wall, we were able to add this little shelf to that side of the uh, tab. And it, it comes in so handy between the Lugani table and that table. Um, we are set. Um, put things on there in the morning with your coffees and whatnot. Um, and it does not interfere with the cushion when you pull the cushion out. So um, it works out really well. Here's another uh, view of it from the side. So when you pull the cushion out, you obviously have it up and pull the cushion out if you want to get under there. So the tab comes with the two burner uh, electric ignition stove and we removed the glass cover because it was slanted and it just felt like an accident waiting to happen. And we added um, a tie, uh, cutting board with rubber on the bottom to uh, place over the top of it. Another upgrade we did is add a closet rod across the back. It does not interfere with the two cupboards and then we hang these baskets on it. When we do travel, we take the baskets down, but uh, they're very handy while you're in, inside the tab. Like the microwave, we removed the TV, and because the tab's so small, actually using our iPad is just as handy, and we added one of these iPad holders that we found online. It's very sturdy, and we kept all the cabling and everything, but it's just pushed back. One last look at the uh, adhesive uh, tile that we did. We actually brought it all the way around the tab just to kind of incorporate it in from the kitchen area um, to give it a little decor um, throughout the tab. It was pretty easy again. I think using the molding really makes it stand out better and look more authentic. You know, there's so many uh, different options out there for colors and designs and it's just really an easy way uh, to decorate the tab. Um, again, the Gorilla Glue was the trick. You don't want to just use the adhesive and put it on. The next thing that we did was we created pet screens. Um, we did not use Velcro. We saw um, problems with that with the humidity and different things inside the trailer. So we used, after much research, some magnetic um, attachments and it works great. So they're Pet screens, we made the screens ourselves, we ordered the frames, cut it to size, uh, put the screen in, I have a video on it, and we just clip on, clip off, and that keeps our little curious uh, cat um, from wanting to sneak out. So moving to the outside with the cassette toilet, love, love, love this cassette toilet. Um, very easy to use, no black water lines. You just pull it out, uh, it has wheels, and you can pretty much dump it wherever you would normally use the restroom. Um, so we don't use the tissues like we said in the toilet. It really allows for a lot more volume. Um, I know not to be gross, but um, we do have that receptacle in the bathroom that helps out a lot. Um, and that's it. Yeah, it just slides back in there. You just got to be careful of that little tab when you pull it out. You make sure you do the tab and not just the handle by itself. This area is going to be the water area. Um, they use the nautical uh, marine uh, type setup. Very easy, intuitive to use. Um, one trick I learned that you use the levers there at an angle when you want to drain to the lowest point and it helps flush out the water better. Um, it gives you the directions on there depending what you want to do. You can fill from a bucket. I actually have a video on how to exactly fill from a bucket into the tank if say you weren't hooked up to a hose of, of city water or something like that. It's pretty easy but um, unless you know the exact way it can get a little frustrating so be sure to watch that other video and then they have the shower um, on the outside with the hot and cold you'll see where the line shows up under your bench inside the tab if you ever have problems with the hot water um, I do have a video on what they don't tell you about adjusting that um, so you can see that on my channel it's a 30 amp uh, plug-in so I'm going to go over some hitch setups that we did. Um, so the first one is, I recommend any time that you're plugging in to uh, towing that you use these gear ties. Um, we use it to just secure the plug. Um, I've run into a situation years ago where the plug came out 
and it dragged on the highway and pretty much ruined it. So I've learned to do this and it just gives you a lot more uh, comfort knowing it's secured in there. The next thing we recently installed was this Jackie Up and this is where you can put your um, trailer jack in there and then uh, when you're not using it you can just twist it and pull it out and this way it allows the Jeep door to open all the way or most of the way because the basket's there but a lot more than what I could before. So the jury's out on that, still trying and testing that. We also added the sway control bar. Um, I have a whole video on this and how to set this up. Um, to me, I've, I've pulled a lot of trailers and it just gives a lot comfort level when um, driving on uh, windy highways. Um, you can put it on, take it off. It's so simple. Just to have the, the ability to do it is awesome. So we use this master lock um, that you use on the hitch lock. Um, always using multiple ways to secure your trailer. Um, no one way is secure proof. Um, so we do do a couple different things to deter um, any kind of theft. The next thing is the uh, outside um, racks out here. Uh, it came with the Yakima racks and what we were disappointed in was the spare tire that came with ours was the standard spare and not the um, off-road tire. Um, after doing research and finding out that to get that off-road tire replaced, if you did have a flat that needed replacing, you actually have to almost order it online, have it delivered somewhere, and boy would that be frustrating and a hassle. So I decided to add the, the matching tire myself. I added the basket, um, the bracket, and the tire, um, and it's worked out really well. So here's just a couple other things. Um, this is handy to have if you don't feel like you need to move the trailer around, but we park ours on a kind of an incline, so we use one of these. Another one is this inexpensive surge protector. I like it because on the front of it, um, it has lights and I always plug into the campground to see if it's wired correctly. Short of buying a $300 Yeti, we um, opted to get the Raleo, which um, is exactly like it. It's about $115 and this fits perfectly in the basket up front of the tab outside for our drinks. Another one of my favorite is the Jackery Charger. This one is uh, 240 watts. It's super small, like a lunch, uh, lunch pail, and it is so convenient and handy to charge your items if you're not plugged into uh, shore power. There are a couple outlets that you can plug into charge like your phone uh, that will work off of your battery that's on the tab, but we try to refrain from using too much of the battery, especially if we're not at shore power. We do actually have two batteries in the cabinet up front. Um, you can fit two batteries up there if you want to upgrade, which I highly recommend. This is a handy little $7 tester. You can use that for your 7-pin plug-in just to make sure everything is wired correctly in case you're ever having a problem or trying to troubleshoot. I just did a video on this on the brake controller. We had a huge issue with bucking, grabbing, uh, really sensitive brakes on our Kurt controller and we switched it to the Prodigy, just the P2 and oh my god, night and day. Be sure to watch that video if you're having any issues. Speaking of small, this is the best tire compressor ever. Um, put air in your tires up to 120 psi. Of course the tabs are 50 psi. Very convenient. You charge it up. It works like a charm. We use it everywhere in all our vehicles. Next is the tire pressure pressure monitoring. Um, this TST we have. Uh, you can get a smaller version uh, with just two caps or four caps um, for your tab trailer. Driving down the road and knowing what your tire pressures are all the time is definitely a comfort level. And do yourself a favor and get a lockbox to put that spare key in. You can go ahead and hook it right up to the rack up front. Well, I think that's it for now. I think covered a lot of uh, details and upgrades. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy camping. I'll have all the links below and there's tons of videos on my channel about the tab and other ideas if you want to uh, review. Thanks again.